What's pop with y'all? It's your boy Money Man Sam. See, typically, we're used to seeing relationships where there's multiple women, one guy. I stumbled across, I didn't watch the full video, I watched like, you know, like a minute in and I was already hooked. So without further ado, let's say fuck it, let's, let's see what her pimping, let's see what her pimping talk about. Let's get right into it. This is Tori. She fell in love with Travis. Oh my God. You could have made a better selection, um, miss. He looks like Charles Manson. What do you think is going through his head? I want to know. And I don't want to know. He looks like a serial killer or some sort of pedophile. And Ethan. And Mark. And Chris. Their four-way relationship is working wonders for them. The first polyamorous relationship I had been in was actually with Travis and Ethan. How do you bag two ugly niggas, though? This is what I mean by no matter what, there's always gonna be, for a girl, no matter what, what whatever it is, there's always gonna be niggas for her. It's four niggas that wanna marry this girl. The term poly, meaning multiple, often refers to a three-person relationship, but for these guys, it's Tori and her four separate lovers. And the next one would be Mark. We met in high school. The relationship could best be described by having Tori as the hub and all of us are spokes on a giant wheel. You are too big to be sounding like that. You are a grown ass man in cargo shorts. Husband number one, Travis. We already ran over him. He's the alpha of the house. Mark, he has the fashion sense of an eight year old, but also looks kind of like an old soul at the same time. Chris and him are the most like adult looking. You feel me? Like regular. Chris, um, he rubs me the wrong way. He got all 10 nails painted black. That's not a good sign. All right, I'm starting with a good card. I have yay. <laughs> yay. No. Also, I rarely play this game to win. I generally just like sowing chaos. Why? What the fuck is this? That nigga's a creep. While this poly quintet are happy to play games with one another, that's as far as play goes for the boys in this relationship. We're not romantic with each other. We're all just connected with her. Of course, right? I only fuck her. Besides that, I don't know these niggas. I don't talk to these niggas. I don't even like these niggas. Although Tori might like it to be another way. If they're all more than welcome to have another partner if they so choose, but as I'm currently, no. Look at your frame. Who exactly are you confident in in bringing you another female to the house? None of these niggas is doing that. None of them. Honestly, I would love it if somebody found a, a second partner. <laughs> You know, dividing time between all five people and making sure everyone feels included is kind of difficult. Pimping ain't easy, fellas. You feel me? And girls, you want to keep the hoes, you got to maintain the hoes. You feel me? And that's the hard part. Did you ever consider a romantic relationship with each other? I don't really know, to be honest. I guess I'd be, I'm open to it, but I'm not going to go after it. I know Ethan and I sort of tried back in high school and that kind of flopped really fast. Whoa! Him and Ethan got history? He was fucking Ethan? Oh, hell nah. This took a turn, turn. So that's why he was looking at him like this. Y'all see how he's looking at him? That's why his hand over his body. Oh, shit. So I am currently about 23, 24 weeks pregnant. We found out a couple weeks ago that we're having a girl. <laughs> We're very excited. Once again, that baby is going to have some horrible genetics. Everybody is ugly. I don't care about the kind oh, you're being mean. They are ugly. I'm not going to lie. They are, these are ugly people. I hate her. You know why I hate her? It's because, like, you're going to fuck up your child's life. You got four husbands, and not one of them is even close to decent looking. You have four tries, and all of them is smacked. And not on top of that, you're ugly too. I ain't gonna lie. She could have chose four D1 black college athletes. Because I'm pretty sure just off the fact of her being white, they would have fucked her. There's at least four black D1 athletes. That would have, that would have, that would have cracked her. Come on, man. Damn. Like, you're that selfish. You're going to ruin your child's life like that. And so who's the father of the baby? So 
so Chris is the biological father. Um, we just know that because of timing. <laughs> Damn! He is the newcomer and he got her pregnant first. I know it hurts this nigga. Look at his face. Look at him. He is pissed. Having an unusual relationship structure has meant they've all received judgment in different forms. Polyamory is definitely an uncommon thing. A lot of people have grown up in monogamy culture of, you know, you don't really love someone if you have eyes for somebody else. Multiple partner relationships, whether it's a guy or a girl, um, that's where it's one guy or one girl. I'm not against or with either. My thing is, look, she's pregnant. Now she out the game for nine months. You feel me? Now this guy, look, he got her pregnant, but he not out the game. He can get a million more girls pregnant and still not be out the game. A key that opened every lock, now that's a good key. But a lock that opens every key, that's a shitty lock. I will admit that since I'm her older brother that I just have that tendency, I suppose. Older brother? I wasn't expecting the pregnancy announcement. That one was a little bit of a shocker for me. Um, as, uh, you know, that protective older brother, I was... What the fuck are you protecting? <laughs> my nigga, I will smack the shit out of you, my nigga. Let's say I have a girl, right, and her brother... Come up to me on some shit like, I'm trying to protect, I'm trying to protect my sister. I am, I might consider smacking you about that shit. My nigga, if you pull up to me with a galaxy hat and a NASA shirt as a grown man, I'm, I might do something to you. I might give you a little one too, you feel me? You need to be fucking whooped for that. You need to be fucking put in jail for that outfit <laughs> well that was the weirdest video that we've probably watched on this channel um i don't know what to say make sure y'all leave a like comment and subscribe um i don't know man i might have multiple wives i think that that video made me want to be like her anyways um that would be all make sure y'all hit y'all make sure you hit the like button man ales like you feel me I'm trying to, let's see, push me to 500, bro. I need 500 subscribers. I've been stuck in the 300s for a little bit now, and that's over with. We about to hit 500, bro. So, yeah. So, make sure y'all like, comment, and share my videos, you know. Anyways, man, make sure y'all, like I said again, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Money Man. So, we out.